East Liverpool's Vista Motel is being called a nuisance by both city police and the people who live by it, but an effort is being made to change that image. First News reporter Molly Reed today talked with the new owner. Her story is new at 11. On Facebook, the East Liverpool Police Department has jokingly renamed themselves the city's Vacationer Welcoming Committee. While a lot of that is because the drug dealers are coming from out of town, it's partly because a lot of their arrests have been made at the Vista Motel. The Vista Motel has the potential to be an East Liverpool vacationer's hotspot. It sits right on Edwards Street, just a short walk from the Ohio River. But lately, it's been infested by the drug epidemic, with raids and arrests happening almost weekly there. 10.30 last night, I was watching a drug deal happen on my phone. The police have access to security cameras mounted throughout the building. That was part of the new owners of the motel, Danielle Russo, and her husband's plan to shape the place up. But it's proven to be a tough project. We sat down with the guys that we bought it from this past week, and they gave us an option to, you know, not do it at all or keep moving forward and doing what we can to make it better, and we decided to keep going. On the outside, the motel looks out of date, but in the six months the Russos have owned it, they've already put 10 grand into indoor renovations. Danielle and her husband, who live in Cleveland, have been meeting with city leaders to figure out what kind of new management the motel needs. She says the management before was hired by old owners, and some of the staff took part in the crime. We will do drug testing, yeah. random um, drug testing. There will be stricter requirements to stay there too, such as two copies of ID and valid credit cards. Noise ordinances and visiting hours from non-paying guests will also be enforced. I've been down here more, my husband's been down here more, um, and then we're just going to get the ball rolling and start our renovations and new policies. Danielle says they're also going to be renaming it. She says she's been posting in local Facebook groups, getting the community involved in renaming it, and also getting them excited for the changes. In the newsroom, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.